all right this video so if you're in my classes then the idea is we've got to build a game and we've got to build a game from the beginning some of you might have chose unity some of them might have chose scratch some of you might have even gone on with the python but be this set of videos if you like is going to be just showing somebody how to build a game from absolutely nothing we're going to copy an old style game called lunar lander and um, we're going to build each of the stages you need to have to consider it um, a professional game so we're in scratch and the first thing you need to do is get rid of your cat now i'm using the online version of scratch all you have to do is go to google type in scratch click on the top link and then go to create and you should see a screen that looks like this that's right what am i doing let's do it so that people can't complain here we go scratch and there it is let's get on that let's go on this and then you go to create and there you go no no problem so get rid of this i think that's just some demo of what you can do get rid of the cat because we don't need the cat and there we go right so we're ready to start so usually what we do is follow a plan and i've had a plan on the other screen and we'll be following it but because i, I want to keep this video down to about a couple of minutes um i don't want to um i don't want to go over the top so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to need to set a background so the background is largely going to be space and we're going to use what we call assets from scratch itself um quick prototype development or quick game development usually you don't bother putting all of the extra detail in while you're just creating it you just do as best you can just to get things working you hear it all the time i want to make and then they name the biggest game you've ever heard of in your life it's got millions of pounds of budget behind it and they want to make a game like that it ain't happening let's start from the beginning let's just first of all get a background on a menu screen let's make the menu screen so here we go i'm going to backdrop so it's stage yes yeah, so this is the area we're working click on stage and i'm assuming choose a backdrop and we'll come yeah we'll just click on that now, i'm doing this all off the top of my head by the way just to show you that it really isn't a difficult feat to just take everything in and go bit by bit so i'm looking for the closest thing to a space scene that one seems cool but yeah we could have that one. Oh, the moon that one would be good because it's called lunar lander that one looks good stars right so it's is there anything called space oh yeah there is look at that space spaceship oh we've got all kinds of backgrounds we could probably make the game space city one i like this but because i want to be designing my own stage in the end and this is just the menu screen I'm going to choose this one because it looks the coolest. We'll do that. Right. So we've got our background. Right. On your menu screen, all you're going to have is any kind of um, like pictures you've got, whatever. But the biggest thing you need is a start button for the game. And with this start button, all I'm going to do is I'm going to press start and it's just going to go into the main game. But that's all it's going to do. This is going to be video one. So the first thing we need to do is create the button. So I'm assuming we're coming down here to choose a sprite, choose on this to paint, and then you get what I was hoping for, a development area. So I'm gonna build a big square, like this rectangle. I'm gonna make it absolutely massive, this uh, button, because I, ju I just wanna work with space. I don't wanna be making a tiny thing and having to mess around. I'm gonna type in start in here, but it looks like it's the same color as my background. So highlight fill let's change it let's just pull the brightness down let's drag this out so that it's as big as it can be there we go i'm happy with that and we're going to convert to bitmap or oh, keep it as a vector keep it as a vector so we can resize it without it going blurry um and i think that's your lot there you go you've built your first button but I want this um, smaller, so I'm wondering if I can um, use some of the tools here and resize it. Size 100. Let's get it to quarter of its size. Start. Yeah, let's make it to half its size. 50. That will do. So there you go. It's 50% of its size. There it is. Right. So we go back to our code. And what we need to do now is we need to tell the game to show this sprite when the game starts 
so we're going to go to backdrops we click on backdrops and you get your code into your stage this is different to that do you notice this changes when you click on the stage and you click on that because you can't move the stage so uh, in the old version this motion didn't turn up but anyway so we're on to stage I am going to go to my event which is when I start the game I am going to broadcast a message called menu so when the game starts immediately when the, the first time you turn the game on menus being sent out to the whole game this start button if we click on the start button we need to go to events so when I receive I think it's called there it is when I receive menu I am going to show myself so this will make it so that it always shows I think it's in looks there it is I'm going to show so no matter what now when we click the green flag this is going to show because there will be an instance in a minute where you might want to go back to the main screen you're going to broadcast menu again and you're going to show this okay and that way your, your game will look like it's got different stages and levels and things like that so now that we've got this so we've got this button so this is a, a button and I think in scratch if the new version is anything uh, from what I believe it is you can add when I click or when this sprite clicked so when this sprite is clicked we're going to broadcast another men menu called start game uh, broadcast another broadcast if you like called start game so that's in control uh, no sorry event sorry we're going to go into broadcast and we're going to change this menu to a new message called start game so when I click this sprite see if you press start now when I when I click it uh, when the game's running that is um, when the game's running it's going to broadcast this start game now when this thing receives start game I want to hide so I can duplicate this and just put it underneath here when I receive start game I want to hide and that is basically saying when the game actually starts so if I click this the game's looking I click on it it hides it because the game's running now this is going to be the game but I'm going to change the background now when I'm going to have another backdrop uh, now this is where I'm hoping this isn't like in the other one you go to backdrops this is backdrop one just a white screen this is backdrop two so we need to keep an eye uh, on the name of um, we need to make sure it shows galaxy uh, when we get the skip skip add menu this backdrop I'm going to change it to a fill of black just can I just fill an area or do I have to draw a box around the whole thing I'll just draw a box around the whole thing so I've got my stage one and my stage two I don't want to waste um, backgrounds so let's just go back to the code again so backdrops code when the thing is starting broadcast menu and the second the game starts I want you to set the background so this is in look switch backdrop to galaxy it was already it's already named for it which is cool so switch backdrops to galaxy but then when you uh, if we run the game again look everything's working but when we click that start menu when we click the start menu we are going to when I receive start game hide broadcast start game switch back drop to um, backdrop one switch backdrop to backdrop one but only when it's clicked so let's see if that works so the game started everything's running when I mean so when you when when the game starts it's going to run this word it's going to send that out through all the thing it's going to switch the background to galaxy if I now click on this if I now click on this bang it's hidden we've broadcasted the word start game it's hidden the button and it's switched the background to backdrop one and what else you would do on this is you would show your main character 
show any of your enemies, show your stage or your level, what we're going to build anyway. So that's it, just for building a simple menu system. But what I'd like to do, just so that everything's working and we can get back to the front and check it's all working, is we're going to build another button called Exit. And we're going to have that on the screen all the time. If you click on it, then it's going to take you back to the menu system. So we go on to this, Paint. We draw another button, just like we did before. Um, you can have a different colour. I'm going to put it into red um, this time because, you know, it's an evil button. I'm going to go into this. I'm going to put exit. I'm going to highlight the text. I'm going to change the colour to yellow, so it's kind of yellow. I'm going to make it big, as big as it can be. I'm going to put my button down in the bottom corner. I'm going to shrink it down to a quarter of its size because you don't want people hitting this if they don't want to. It's got to be like a like an Easter eggy kind of thing, but we can clearly see it. Should really put it in green and white and it's like an exit door or something like that. But hey, this is our game. We can do what we want. All right, so we've got that. And then it's the same deal again. We go back to code. So when the game is running, we're going to turn this into a button. If when I am clicked, so when this sprite is clicked, I am going to broadcast menu and I'm going to change my backdrop back to galaxy. Or you could even, if you want to be really smart, just, yeah, when you when you clicked broadcast menu, uh, you could even, you could even put here when I receive galaxy, put the, the backdrop in. But I'm just going to do it this way. I'm just going to keep it nice and um, consistent. So switch your background, which is in look, switch backdrop to galaxy. And what we should have now, if everything's going right, ah, we've got this exit still here. We do not want that on the main menu screen. So if I'm receiving, so in this, when I receive, so events, when I receive menu, I am going to hide. Whoops. And when I receive start game, I am going to show. So we run it and there we go. It's hidden because he's just received menu. That's coming from in here. I click start. It goes to black, there's my exit, click on that, and it goes back, and there's our menu screen. What I'd like to see you guys doing is making a really good title for your game, um, so that, um, you know, we know what the game is, for example, and, um, and that's going to be it for this.